Hey y'all, so I probably look a little bit off, right? But you can't quite put your finger on it. That is because I have a few new products I picked up at the drugstore and I thought we would sit down and test them out together. And one of those products is a mascara. So that's probably what's throwing off my look more than anything right now because I never, I never forego mascara. So yesterday I had to stop into Walgreens and I got completely sucked in and bought a few new products. And then I also have two items from 100% Pure. But for the most part, this is all drugstore. And I just have to say, Cecilia in the North Richland Hills store was just a complete doll. Like, she was the sweetest woman I have spoken to in a long time. She was so incredibly helpful, so enthusiastic, and just so wanted to talk makeup with me. And that's all, like, that's all I've ever asked for from, like, a sales rep in Ulta, or Sephora, or anything like that. And to see it at a drugstore at Walgreens, not hating on them or anything like that, but... Facts are facts. A drugstore is a lot cheaper, more affordable than going and shopping at Sephora or something like that. You know, you're spending a lot more on makeup. You think the service level would be higher too, um, or the knowledge base of the employees, etc. But I'm telling you, like, this girl knew her stuff, and she was just, more so than that, she was just so personable, so kind, acted like she wanted to be there. And that goes a long way. I don't care if you know if you're a pro makeup artist or anything like that. If you're just into makeup and you enjoy being there and just want to talk makeup with me, that's that's all I want, you know? And so I'm telling you, she was, she was just the sweetest thing. And she gave me a bunch of samples, like the new Neutrogena foundation samples like the hydrating tin or something like that and I just I didn't have the heart to tell her like I only buy cruelty free I don't want that like I just I took it I didn't want to be rude you know I will say I have three products here that we are not going to be testing out today because all three of these are for foundation Friday and I cannot wait to test them out I do have one 100% pure product here the BB cream that I've been dying to get my hands on I'm so excited to feature this then I have two foundations from number seven I went in to get one foundation from them and then the one heck of a blot foundation from Soap and Glory. You know, they carry, Walgreens carries Soap and Glory in number seven now. And that Soap and Glory foundation, I've heard good things. I wanted to test it out so badly. It's a matte, you know, mattifying, keep your oil at bay kind of foundation. They only have four shades in that line and it is so yellow. The lightest shade, which is like fair enough, I think is the name of it. It's just, it's so yellow. It would match me in depth of color. It's not too dark or light for me, but it is, it's straight up yellow. So if you have your yellow undertone skin, you might like it. I even swatched it out in my arm and I'm like, well, well maybe I can get it and just test it out and it doesn't have to match. It'll be a good review. And then I thought like, I can't spend, this is stupid for me to spend the money, buy this foundation to wear it one time. It's not gonna work for me. You know, so I decided to pass on it and picked up two different foundations from number seven, both of which I have been wanting to try, but the beautifully matte one has been on my wish list for a long time. So yesterday when I was in store, they were running a special where if you bought two Soap and Glory products, you got a sample size of their body butter for free. I did buy two Soap and Glory products, and so I'm very happy to have this again. Do I need it? Definitely not. Do I love it? Of course, I adore it. So the first Soap and Glory product I got, I guess I can't technically show on camera either. It's the One Heck of a Blot Powder. And I was kind of at a loss, like, oh, I wanted to try it out on camera, but how do I do that, like, halfway through my makeup, you know? And so I decided to just go ahead, use it, set it, and then we'll just test out the rest of the stuff. Um, so this is a translucent powder, mattifying translucent powder. I do have it on my skin today. That's what I use to set my foundation, and I, I really liked it so far. Now is it going to keep me incredibly matte? First of all, I don't know if I'm matte to begin with. I'm pretty matte. Yeah, I'm pretty matte. Um, you know, will it keep me matte all throughout the day? I don't know. I'm still going to have to test it out. I'll give y'all some updates in a couple of weeks. Uh, but I love the way it set my makeup and I've been struggling trying to find good powders recently. Let's go ahead and get mascara out of the way. This is the new Wet n Wild Lash Renegade. It's fairly new. I mean, it's been out a couple of months now. A lot of people have picked it up and tried it. I've heard pretty good reviews on it. Okay, it doesn't have a weird smell or anything. That's nice. Oh, it kind of has a short wand on it. I appreciate that. I don't know. I like, it's like the sample sizes. Why I like those better. It's like more maneuverable. I have more leverage or something than one that's like a super long wand. But yeah, I mean, plastic bristled brush with a little ball tip on the end. 
I don't know how I'm gonna work that, but we'll figure it out. Right off the bat, I think I'd like it better without that little ball at the end. Because you see the gap in there? Well, the gap is like filled with product, and so that deposits kind of a lot of product. And you know what I mean? Like you can't, if I try to use this little inner por portion, then the ball I feel like I'm going to smear on my face. But then the little ball really isn't enough to do my whole lashes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I just need to work with it a little bit more. Well, I will say this much. It's a lot better than the skinny mascara from Wet n Wild that they came out with kind of in the same line. I was not a fan of that at all. They didn't advertise. They didn't say it had fibers in it and it had fibers in it. So I was not a fan. So, yeah, it's a little bit clumpier than I'm used to. But... I mean, sometimes I have to work with a mascara. Sometimes there's different techniques that it just applies best with. Um, so I'll work with it a little bit. It's not horrible. I mean, it gives me good length. My thing is length and separation. So it has good length, not great length. There's definitely better. I can get my lashes longer than that. Um, but it's not horrible. A little bit on the clumpy side, though. So I'm going to keep y'all kind of close here still. I finally, finally picked up the Wet n Wild Highlighter and Precious Petals. It's been out for, I don't know, a year, maybe longer. I think this might have been their like spring 2016 collection, maybe even before that. It's, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, and so, you know, I don't know how that's going to work. You know, I can probably definitely get away with it in summer, but it is. I mean, when it's not hitting the light, you can see it's, it's a little bit dark there. Um, so hopefully that will still work for me. I will say they did have that deeper bronzier one too. I believe it's called Crown of My Canopy. These are way more brown girl friendly too. So if you're melanin enhanced, this may be a good drugstore option for you. My God, that is metallic. Look at that. That is so fucking beautiful. I don't know if I can get away with it until I get darker though, because if you kind of look straight on with the, without the light hitting it, you can tell it's, it's a little bit too dark for my skin. You can kind of see that right there. But with the light hitting it, it looks absolutely beautiful. Holy shit, that's gorgeous. If you put this in a Dior package or an Anastasia Glow Kit or something like that, I wouldn't doubt you for one second that this wasn't a high-end product. Although I will say if you do have super fair skin, it's probably going to be way too dark on you. I feel like it's really borderline too dark on me. In the summer, it'll be perfectly fine for me though. So now all we have left are the two lipsticks. I did pick up one lip product and then this one was sent to me, the 100% pure one. Um, I picked up one of these Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lipsticks. I picked up Keep It Flesh, which is a satin finish. Now I swatched nearly all of their lipsticks and they have some beautiful shades, but I was specifically looking for a nude shade. I am still on the hunt for my perfect nude. I just can't seem to find it anymore in a cruelty free product. Now I swatched it in store and it looked light, but it looked like it would work. It definitely did. I did an initial application on my lips when I got home last night and I had concealer jizz lips. And so if this doesn't work, I will return it. There is a swatch and yes, it does look light. That's what it, you know, that's pretty much what I saw in store. But I just figured once I got it on my lips, it would just be a light pinky nude shade. So who knows? I, I do want to try it with my lip liner like I would wear it normally. Maybe when I have all that going on, it, it will look a little bit better. So blend it in with the lip liner. It kind of deepened it and warmed it up a little bit so I don't have complete concealer lips. At least I have some definition. Um, it, so it's not, oh look, you can, look, can you see the highlighter being too dark right there? Yeah, that sucks because bam, right there, it's beautiful. Um, anyway, so it's not too bad. It seems a little bit light though, doesn't it? Let me know your thoughts on this one. So let's move on to the 100% Pure Lipstick. This is their Cocoa Butter Matte Lipstick line. So 
they are incredibly matte. I will tell you this much. These are the two items that I came home last night and applied them. And my God, is this as matte as a liquid lipstick. Now, is it going to be as long wearing and transfer proof? No, of course not. But I don't know that I have ever, I, I mean, I have matte lipsticks right but they still have that little bit of like reflection and shine to them this one does not I mean it is completely matte I don't think I've ever seen a more matte regular bullet style lipstick by the way the shade is pink canyon that's the one I went with again searching for that perfect pink nude so let me wipe this one off That damn near looks like a matte liquid lipstick. I'm telling you. I don't think I've ever, ever had a regular lipstick be that matte before. So even though it wasn't exactly the color that I was looking for, I do think it's a nice lipstick. And I'm definitely going to hold on to it, at least for the time being. But you can just see it's a lot more rosy. To be honest with you, does it look like it's pulling kind of coral? I don't know, I just get that feeling like it's it's kind of pulling like a little bit corally orange. All right, y'all, so those are all the products I have to test out right now. Overall, I'm feeling very positive. One, this, this was fun and I like filming, so that's probably a part of it. But two, I think I had some really great hits in this video. But thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and testing out some new products. I've never really done this before, like a live first impression or anything like that, but it was fun. It seems like I'm just sitting down with y'all applying makeup. So let me know if you liked it too. I will see y'all in two days in my next video and don't ever forget it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. I love y'all so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye y'all.